Pretty boy Wolverine will stand in now. He drove in two of their three runs in that ball game yesterday. Here's the first offering. First pitch of the AB is swung on and lifted in the air to straightaway center. Hernandez is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Pretty boy Wolverine will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. First pitch coming. Swing and a shot toward right center. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. And he will make it up to second as he advances on the throwing miscue. My goodness. Boy, it's only the third inning here, and he's already given up more hits so far than he did in his entire start last time out. He hasn't been able to reproduce what he had going on last time, at least not to this point. Pretty boy Wolverine is in to start things out as he swings and misses at that one at strike one. And this is a guy who will not get cheated up there, and he almost came out of his keep shoes going, on that going, one. Going, go and this is going to find the alley as he might have himself his second double of the ball game. Around second, right here, he'll easy, try easy. for third. And a great start to the inning for the Bombers. It's a leadoff triple. So he's in at third to kick off the inning as you take a look at the league leaders in triples. And you can see it's been a great year for him as he leads the AL in that category at this stage of the season. Now here's the first pitch. Pretty boy Wolverine is in with two away here as this one swung on and missed for the first strike. You know, it's so important with guys like this to get ahead with strike one. Put them behind in the count and on their back foot right away. And this will be fouled away. Pause, now the pitch. Now a ball hit back up the middle. And a dive at short, but he won't be near it as this could wind up as extra bases. And now he has some trouble with it in center. And the runner will score from first. Pretty boy Wolverine will stand in with a showdown looming. Two on, two out here in inning number eight. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. A look here at the hits per side here in the late going. Runners lead from first and third. Here's the pitch. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. He waits. Now the pitch. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly, and the inning is over. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. Dylan Batances will come in now working with a huge lead, so he'll just look to get some work in here. Well, you always hope to get a good outing from your starting pitcher, but this man went. It's under it. And the Dutch. The Tigers have done it. For the fourth consecutive year, they are champions of the American League Central Division. 0 oh, 2 coming. Swing and a fly ball toward right center into the alley. Bradley on a run. Jack Bands, a spectacular catch. And now, your 2019. 
pretty boy Wolverine will stand in and you see there he's been scorching hot these past few games now here's the first pitch just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul one down one down he's set now the pitch he goes the other way and this one's going to split the gap for extra bases Around third is Yelich being waved home. And the run will score as the Yankees grab the early 1-0 lead. Pretty boy Wolverine will stand in. An RBI double to his credit the first time around. Slice down the left side, but foul. And the pitch. And he pumps the fastball by him at 94. It's 0-2. You got to figure that that man right there would be more than happy to see this guy at the plate taking his swings with two out and nobody on all night long. And so put the guy on the mound. And this is hit well towards the hole. And a good effort on the dive that time, but this will get by him for a base hit. Another multi-hit game for him here tonight. No surprise there as we take a look at the league leaders in hitting. And you can see it's been a great year for him as he leads the AL in that category at this stage of the season. Swing and a liner back through the box. Base hit. Well... He'd had some high-stress innings here so far. It was looking like he turned a corner and was on his way to a much-needed one, two, three. But he's going to have to get in the stretch here after all. First pitch on the way. Swing and the ball hit well to the right side, but this will get into the crowd. And now pitch on the way. Ah, not the greatest at bat thus far as he misses that pitch in the dirt and falls behind nothing in two now. Boy, and if anything, he's looking stronger than ever here in this seventh inning. Pitch in the dirt, swung on and missed for strike three as they'll need to throw to first here. Throw to first will take care of him. Score it two to three on the put out and there are two gone now. Pretty boy Wolverine will stand in. The eighth batter of the inning now with the bases loaded and two away. First pitch coming. Come on, and this will be fouled away. He's set. Now the pitch. Swing and the ball hit hard on the ground at first. And a reach with the backhand, but he comes up empty as that gets by him. And the second run will score as well as they grab the lead here at 5-3. Big out fast Second and third RBIs of the ball game, but you know more importantly, these two give him the lead. An entertaining game, all in all. So if we have to choose one who stood out among all others, why not go with this man right here? He's our top player. Ball strike three and a no hitter. Josh Beckett for the 21st time in Dodger history, a no hitter. The 11th no-hitter in Los Angeles Dodger history. The first is today. Inside the Show with Justin Allegri. Salvador Perez, the 2-2. Popped up. Sandoval. In foul territory. Giants win. Inside the Show with Justin Pitch and Blanco bunts it, and it's a good bunt. Chode has it. He will wing it down the right field line. Here comes Crawford, and this game is inside the show with Justin Allegri. Welcome, baseball fans, to our Wednesday edition of Inside the Show. Let's jump right into Tuesday's action. Starting in the AL East. The Rays paid visit to Yankee Stadium to do battle with the Pinstripers. And it was the Yanks who came away victorious, 6 to nothing. Jose Fernandez saw his amazing season continue as he earned his 21st victory of the season on the mound. He is among the AL leaders in wins. 
Heading into today, the Yankees are atop the American League East division. They are more than 10 games ahead of second. The Blue Jays were at Fenway Park to take on the Boston Red Sox, and it was the Blue Jays who came out on top, 8-2. Gregor Blanco was a force at the plate, driving in three runs. His modest hitting streak was also extended to five straight games. Right now, the Red Sox sit in second place in the American League East division, but they currently lead the AL wildcard race. The Blue Jays are third in the division. They're over 20 games out of first. The Tigers paid visit to the Orioles in Baltimore, and it was the Tigers who prevailed 7-1. Nick Castellanos had a huge day offensively, collecting three hits and driving in three. Henderson Alvarez was dominant on the bump, grabbing the victory with a complete game effort. As of today, the Orioles sit in last place in the American League East division. They're over 20 games out of first. The Tigers are in third place in the AL Central. They're two games back. The Indians were on the south side of Chicago to take on the White Sox, and it was the Chai Sox who came away victorious, the final 6-4. Gio Gonzalez threw the ball well and picked up his 13th win of the Back here on the MLB pregame show, Matt Baskersian getting you set for the finale of this three-game set. That'll come your way in mere moments, but first, we'll take a look at the top player spotlight. Pretty boy Wolverine will stand in, and you see there, he's been scorching hot these past few games. First pitch of the A.B. is swung on and lifted in the air to straightaway center. Number 29 will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. So the Yanks go 1-2-3. We played an inning. No score. Pretty boy Wolverine will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. Runners on first with one down. One strike now from Archer. Wanting to avoid the double play here as he gets this one down. Flip to the second baseman covering now for the out. Pretty boy Wolverine will stand in. Sacrifice bunt his last time. Now here's the first pitch. And a bouncing ball foul. One strike now from Archer. Lined hard to center field. And he's going to make the play over toward his right, and there are two away now. Pretty boy Wolverine will stand in here. He's 0 for 2 with a sacrifice to this point. Well, you always hope to get a good outing from your starting pitcher, but this man went above and beyond in this one. These are that is extreme agility by a former football player. That looked like he was heading into the secondary and evaded the free safety. With everyone standing at Dodger Stadium, Kershaw pitches. Carpenter swings and hits a Inside the show with Justin Allegri. Big lead again for Peralta. Holiday is safe lead at second. Adam swings and hits a drive. Deep right field. Back to the wall. And it's a Inside the show with Justin Allegri. Hello, baseball fans. Before Thursday's action gets kicked off, let's recap what went down around the league on Wednesday. Looking first at the American League East, the Tampa Bay Rays were in the Big Apple to play the Yankees, and it was the Yanks who came away victorious. The score was... And now the 1-1 delivery.